temperature, and uh, you can hear that it's, you know, it's nice and soft there. I'm going to put that down into the doer of liquid nitrogen. There's a lot of rubber there, so this takes a while to cool down. While that's cooling down, I have in my other hand a bimetallic strip at the end of a wooden handle. I'm putting that down into the liquid nitrogen now. Bimetallic strips are two different metals that are bonded together. They have different coefficients of expansion and contraction, and obviously the metal on top contracted more. I'm going to hold the center of that over the candle flame to find out if I can get that to bend into the other direction. These uh, bimetallic strips, by the way, are practical. They are frequently found uh, in coils in those large thermometers. You might have outside your kitchen or living room window. The coil is connected to a set of uh, levers and a dial indicator, and uh, you can then tell the outdoor temperature. Now, if you look at that egg-wise, you notice that we've actually got that bent up into the other direction. So that's a practical little thing. Now, the rubber stopper has been in the liquid nitrogen long enough to really get hard, and it is now hard enough that I can use it to hammer that nail into the block of wood until it fell off. But if you were looking carefully there, it went down about uh, half to three quarters of an inch. So if you're ever at a loss for a hammer, all you need is some rubber, liquid nitrogen, and you can get a hammer out of that. Yeah.